Welcome to Struggling to Succeed. This week, we're going to discuss some more thoughts from the School of Stoicism. Better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. Zeno, about 2,000 years ago. If you're not familiar with Stoicism, one of the main components of the School of Philosophy is to teach the practice of patience. And this quote by Zeno, saying that it's better to trip with the feet than it is with the tongue, that it reminds us that words are quite powerful and we can't undo the things that we say. But yet, if we stumble and fall in other areas of our life, we can get up, dust ourselves down and move on. But yet, if we curse, blame other people, say hurtful, uh, uncultured things about the people around us and about the situation, those words can stay of us for a lot longer than a scraped knee or a little bruise because your ego got dented. The next time somebody says something negative to you or you're in a really difficult situation in a project, at work, in a social event, or just out in your normal day, you may want to feel the urge to lose your temper, swear, say nasty things, complain. And this is where the Stoicism teachings comes in. It teaches us to remain patient and not to react with our mouths and say things that we might later regret. In today's modern society, it has become culturally acceptable to burn someone when they do something wrong or to shoot back a snarky comment on Twitter or Facebook or leave nasty comments on YouTube and Facebook. However, those words stay with the people that you attack for a long time. So the next time your friend does something silly or posts something online and you want to throw a snarky comment back, remember, you have to see that person again face to face at some point. And you might think that that comment was super funny and you might have got a couple of likes and a few shares because you like really burned your friend or that famous celebrity. But at the end of the day, what are you actually achieving? By A, being snarky, B, losing your temper over a situation, or C, just being a dick. What are you achieving? And this is where this Zeno philosophy and the, and the philosophy of the Stoics really comes into play. When I was growing up, my father used to loosely quote Abraham Lincoln and Mark Twain. The quote that he used to say quite often, but not in these words, was better to remain silent and be thought of a fool than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt. Now, to be honest, in my life and in my struggling to succeed journey, it's probably taken me well over 30 years to actually understand the nuance of what my father was trying to tell me. My father was trying to tell me to keep my mouth shut, not to react angrily to things, and when I do say something, to make sure that it doesn't prove that I'm a fool, and to make sure that I'm not saying things that I would regret later. Now, coming from Ireland and having a little bit of the Irish bad temper, this is something that I've struggled with a lot in my personal development journey and a lot in my life. This thing between my nose and my chin has got me into a lot of trouble in my life. And I really love how reading about the Stoics and reading through these kind of quotes about patience and being careful about you say, what you say and understanding that even if the shit's going down out and around you, you can control your next thoughts and your next words. And that's why I love this Zeno quote so much, because it's so, so true. When you get knocked down, you've got two options. React like a spoilt brat, spoilt brat and be a dick. Or just say good. Just be like, okay, let's move on. That happened. Is it going to make it any better if I start swearing and start being negative about the people that might have been involved in it, if I start blaming other people? No, just dust yourself down, wipe the blood off you, treat your bruises from your fall, and just keep going in your life. From the quote by Zeno 2000 years ago, saying that it's better to trip with the feet than with the tongue, to Mark Twain and Abraham Lincoln's quote, saying that it's better to remain silent than be thought of a fool than to open one's mouth and prove it. These two quotes, 
really try to teach us the art of patience, the art of not reacting to things, and the art of making sure that when we do speak, that the words that we speak are actually productive and are useful for the conversation that we're currently in. Well, that's it from me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along and get lots more content on my struggling to succeed journey. As my mission here is to deliver you guys bite-sized videos each week that can help you start your journey of success. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next week and make it a good one.